The closing of car dealerships. American Car Center going belly up. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We literally receive thousands of emails and text messages from everywhere around the country. A new alarming trend has been messages from viewers regarding the closing of dealerships, in particular our dealers that also finance the vehicle in-house, like American Car Center, and with the closing of their doors, customers are wondering where the heck to make their payments. That's right. Before we get to that one, one of the other dealer groups that announced several shutdowns in recent months is a relatively new player in the used car market known as Car Lots with a Z. With the aim to disrupt the used car market, they made an announcement in January of 2021 that they were going public. With the announcement of the Car Lots launch, CEO Michael Bohr, a former investment banker, explained that selling used vehicles wasn't all that different from his old job as a mergers and acquisitions investment banker. In both cases, someone would approach him to sell an asset he'd find a buyer and he'd charge a fee for his efforts. Sure. If you've heard of car lots or bought a car there, let us know in the comment section down below as to how it went for you. But car lots isn't like your traditional dealer. Car lots is actually a consignment shop for cars. Car lots doesn't actually own the vehicles that it sells. Instead, the company markets cars on a consignment basis, polishing them up, advertising them on sites like cars.com, showing vehicles to buyers online or in person, and handling the paperwork. Sellers continue to own the cars until they sell, paying car lots a $2.99 upfront charge and a $7.99 success fee when the deal closes. It didn't take long before headlines like this one, car lots to close 11 hubs, scraps plans for three new locations began popping up in the news. Car Lodge Chief Executive Officer Lev Parker said in a press release, while decisions that impact our teammates are not taken lightly and are not easy, we believe the hub closures are a necessary step to help improve the company's financial performance. And just like that, 17 months later, these locations were shut down. Atlanta, Georgia, Bakersfield, California, Clearwater, Florida, Highland Park, Illinois, Merritt Island, Florida, Mobile, Alabama, Nashville, Madison, Tennessee, Plano and San Antonio, Texas, Seattle, Linwood, Washington, St. Louis, O'Fallon, Illinois. Carlotts estimated the closures would generate about $10 million in additional working capital from liquidating inventory at those locations. In the world of cars, it kind of seems like chump change, doesn't it? Right. Les Parker added, over the last 12 months, our sources have been challenged. Growing our mix of consumer source vehicles is a priority to complement our retail marketing sourcing channel and reduce our reliance on auctions. We believe the closure should allow us to improve sourcing across a smaller hub base and focus on the productivity and efficiency of the remaining hubs. We also believe this is the first step to building a stronger car lots, enhancing cash preservation and creating a path to profitability. The company's remaining locations, which include 11 sites throughout Virginia, North Carolina, Alabama, Florida, Illinois, Colorado, and California. But the link they had in the article is a little confusing because it actually takes you to the Shift website, which proudly proclaims, skip the headaches of used car buying. That brings up Shift. How have they been doing in all of this? Well, not so great. Last September, their stock was at 86 cents and then spent months trying to bottom out before a recent spike shot the stock back up to 154 just recently. Ooh. You have to go all the way back to March 2022 to find a high stock price above 270. Yeah. If we rewind the clock all the way back to June of 2019, stock was only at 985 back then. Shift was founded in 2013 but didn't go public until October 2020 with a $300 million reverse merger with a special purpose acquisition corporation or SPAC called Insurance Acquisition Corp. Back with information on the closing of the American Car Center right after this message from Mary Jo. Hello, I'm Mary Jo from the Homework Guide team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy, and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on the ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? In perhaps one of the most surprising recent announcements, as Elizabeth mentioned, American Car Center has abruptly closed, leaving customers and employees concerned with customers asking questions like, where the heck do I make my payments now? Following the sudden closure of American Car Center last month, several consumers are still wondering exactly where to pay their car note and are fearing repossession if they can't get it figured out. One of the text messages we recently received came from our viewer Robert who wrote, Kevin, I was wondering if you could help me for a friend of mine. Check out American Car Center. They suddenly close on Friday and my friend has a loan through them. What can she legally do? We hope to answer your question here, Robert. 
Other customers have faced a similar problem like Janice Mitchell, who said she is left in limbo after the sudden shutdown of the used car dealership nationwide and doesn't know where to make her next car payment on her 2016 Buick Encore. Every time I call the American Car Center, I write it down on paper, said Mitchell. I called them today. I called them two or three times today trying to see what I can get going on here. Good for you. American Car Center CFO Noah Logan sent a memo to employees about the decision to close that has since been circulating on social media. We worked incredibly hard over many months to avoid this outcome, but at this point, we have no choice, Logan wrote in the email. Effective as of close of business today, February 24th, 2023, the employment of all employees of the company will be terminated. On behalf of the company, thank you for your efforts, and I wish you well in your future endeavors. Not exactly Ouch. the kind of email that you want to receive on your last day of work for the week. No way. Recently, American Car Center updated their website to inform its customers to continue paying through American Financial per the terms of their agreement with the option to pay online by phone or in person at a check-free pay location. But Mitchell said, it hasn't been that easy. No. I was going to Superlow to pay over there. They told me not to pay at Superlow anymore. Those people tell you they can't take the payment because they don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> wow. Daniel Irwin with the Better Business Bureau says a California-based debt collector called Westlake Portfolio Management Group is in the process of taking over the car company. We were told that Westlake Financial could reach out to those customers and provide guidance on how to move forward, said Irwin. Well, that's got to be lovely to make your car payments to a well-known collections it is outfit. scary. Some emails from the company have already been sent out, which reads in part, The best way to manage your auto lease is through your My Account portal, which allows customers to make payments 24-7. But Irwin has this recommendation if you're still experiencing problems. If you need to file a complaint, you can do so with the Tennessee Motor Vehicle Commission, and how to do that is listed on their website at tn.gov, said Irwin. We recommend you take Mr. Irwin's advice to cover your own butt. If you happen to be one of the people this closure impacts, besides following the advice from Daniel Irwin, we also recommend that you follow the suggestion from American Car Center advising its customers to check their website for future updates. Yep. And I tip my hat to Janice Mitchell for thinking of documenting all of her attempted contacts with the company. It shows good faith action to make good on a debt. No doubt, it's a great big mess left behind for a lot of customers. A number of other used car dealers are equally hurting right now as a result of a shortage of decent used cars at the auto auctions. Historically, new car dealers take in used cars on trade-in, and among them are cars they wouldn't typically attempt to retail on their lots. And these are quite often the cars that end up at the auction. Many of those cars had a lot of life left in them, and used car dealers made a good living buying and selling them. Yeah. Consumers were able to save a lot of money buying a car that would get them by for a while, but without a doubt, the quality of the cars coming to auction have turned alarmingly subpar. Pretty crappy, actually. And that's going to hurt a lot of car lots. It's definitely a shaky market out there right now, and we fully expect to see plenty of announcements of closing car dealers in the near future, particularly on the used car side. We'll work to stay on top of those stories and report on them as they happen. Remember, if you want to hear from us, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also connect with us on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered right on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider leaving a tip to help us help the next person. You'll see a super thanks button just below the video, and there are links for making a tip in the description box. You can easily find them by clicking on the Read More button seen below. Thanks, everyone. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, like Mary Jo said, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.